The Super Bowl is around the corner, and you don't want to miss this one. Russell Wilson is going up against Tom Brady. It's going to be one that you do not want to miss. And, of course, we invite you to give us your picks, your predictions on our social networks at Facebook.com slash RBTL Sports, as well as on Twitter at RBTL Sports. This week's Pretender Contender, we're talking about the Super Bowl. We welcome back Tony Marinero, David Hurley, Pierre and Just. It's one for the ages. You've got a lot of storylines in this one. Let's start with you, David. The New England Patriots, are they pretenders or contenders in this one? Well, I've been a big proponent of the New England Patriots this season on the you show. Have. If you've you if if been watching, you I, have. and, be and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very honest with you. I think they're pretenders in the Super Bowl. I actually think the Seattle Seahawks are gonna repeat. Uh, Russell Wilson's had a great start to his career, six and one in the playoffs in his first three years. I think he makes it seven and one, wins his second Super Bowl, and will become the highest paid quarterback in NFL history. So you so you think he's the most important part of the of the, of the puzzle because no, you the, most that the, defense, the most right? important the most most important puzzle is definitely the, that. Seattle defense. That Seattle defense is, is too strong. It's too fast. That defensive line is going to get after Tom Marshawn? Brady. You're forgetting my man Marshawn. Marshawn Lynch, if he gets over <laughs> 120 yards, that's my breaking point. If he gets over 120, it's a guaranteed win for Seattle. Tony, yeah. if there's one man who can pull you know, the rabbit out of the hat, mm -hmm. and especially with someone who's been under those pressure moments, it's Tom Brady. Is there any chance that he can surprise the world once more? Uh, absolutely 200% in my opinion. Why? Because everything... Uh, Everything dictates that Seattle should win this game. They're 5-0 and in their last five. The Patriots are 3-2 and in their last five. Mm. Defense wins championships, and the Seattle Seahawks have the better defense. So why do I think New England can win this game? Why? Because most people don't think they can, because Bill Belichick would instill that in them. He's going to go with this whole deflate gate, right? And mm. we've seen this, guys, yeah, in the past, right? right? A right. rallying cry Absolutely. for teams, yeah. a galvanizing yeah. moment to rally the troops and say... You know, it's us against the yeah. world. Everyone says counted us out. They yeah. think we needed to have deflated footballs to beat the Indianapolis Colts, and even though we outscored and them 28 to zero in the second half, yeah. and we didn't. We know it, but they don't. They think we stink, and all of that. And you know what? There is a thing about motivation and who wants it more. And repeating and is not an easy thing to do. Belichick's going to get his guys ready. I think the New England Patriots are going to shock the football world. Actually, as so, a matter of so fact, I don't, think, 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 I don't yeah. think it's that much of a shock. Uh, I no, think they're the no, favorites by me, point. For me, it, would, it wouldn't be a surprise if, if no. New England won. They won three Super Bowls before. They have Belichick. They have Tom Brady. Yeah. They have a, a pretty good defense themselves. But they, and they need, they need they Gronkowski to step up as well. He, Gronkowski, he didn't have he, a, he's the key. He is the key. He's the he key. Is the key. Yeah. And he's healthy. Yep. And for the first time in a while, for, for me, it didn't have a didn't have a big game against the Colts, but yeah, but he didn't need to. He ran the ball for 150 some odd yards with three scores. They're not going to be running the ball like that against the Seattle defense. That's for sure. The thing is. The, the, the New England Patriots do a lot of do, uh, things well on defense that that counter Russell Wilson. Right. And that's something that we need to see. They do have Darrell Revis. They do have Brendan Browner. So Who's having have, a, great, a great year, by the way. Great year. Yeah. 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 He's, he's revitalized. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of yeah. storylines yeah. you can look he's at. He's gone back in that conversation of best corner in the league with him and, well, and Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman on the other he's, side is probably yeah. the best corner in the but league. But he's yeah. up there, too. He's Darrell definitely Revis up there. Is, you know, he's, uh, he's you have the best dual threat quarterback, though, in Russell Wilson. We've never seen this in the NFL. A guy who can run like that, who can pass like that. The decisions he makes in crunch time, in his young career, is impeccable. Mm. I mean, he's his career is starting to be very similar to a quarterback who's on the opposite but side in Tom Brady. Patriots, if he wins the Super Bowl, yeah. watch out. I think he's going to win the more Patriots, than three in his career. The Patriots are only two in Arizona in Super Bowls. I think they're at some point they're bound they're bound to break that streak, and it has Listen, to happen. I, I, it's going to happen at New some England point. Patriots, it's going to happen Sunday. The New England Patriots will feel <laughs> deflated. After this weekend. Oh, on you, that you note, that yeah. one. That was <laughs> on that note, I know you guys could go back and forth, but I'm really happy you took the time to do the show. Yeah. I know you have a lot of stuff going on. A lot of people respect the work that you're doing at TSN 690. Thank you. Uh, where can people catch some of the work that you're doing? We know we were to find you on Twitter. Yeah. But what are the other stuff you're working on? Well, um, the Montreal Forum on TSN 690, 690 on your AM dial, and you can listen online streaming as well, tsn690.ca. You can follow me on Twitter, like you said, at Tony Marinero. And I'm in weekdays between 10 and 1, and usually on the weeknights, Habs post-game show. So that's where you can listen to me, and every now and then you can uh, you can watch me on the tube <laughs> to whoever gives me a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for taking the time. Thank you for We're not me. giving you that, but we're good. We're good. <laughs> Stay with us after the break. I face off against MMA legend Bass Rudin. You will not believe what he had to say about the fight coming up on Saturday. Stay with us. Lead Between the Lines is brought to you by Diadora. Available at Diadora.com.